all right guys welcome to the billionaire island i'm almost getting here right now i last night i had some i hired out a company to reinforce the mansion ceiling so now i can land my brand new h160 airbus helicopter on top of it she's pretty heavy but that's why i had them reinforced and then i had them i also planted four huge trees i had imported on huge cargo boats all right perfect Oh, the dozer got delivered. Let's go. There's a dozer in my front yard. That's always good to see. All right, let's circle around. We'll come down here. All right, this might be my first time. I just got my helicopter's permit, my license. All right, she's a little shaky. She's kind of windy this morning. There we go. Power her down. Looks good. Hit all the switches. Yeah, there's there's a few switches that I might not know about, but hey, I got the license, got the permit. Might have paid the guy a few, a few grand to, uh, to skip a few lessons, but... Hey, we got it in a few days. That's all that, is, that counts. We made it. This is reinforced. Three feet of concrete. We have a huge pillars in the living room now that hold it up so we can officially land the helicopter on the house. Now, when I've guessed over, I'll try not to uh, take off or land it too late in the morning. Too early in the morning or too late at night. I think I might still wake them up. So somehow I need to get the jet out of the front yard. We don't need it here anymore. Today's goal. The place is looking way better. I love the trees. The pink leaves make it look beautiful the palm trees were beautiful but then with the pink tree oh my goodness she looks good i had an artist come out here called these sculptures these sculptures were 10k a piece all this flowering and and shrubs here are uh are not cheap either so step one gotta get the jet out of the front yard gosh i hate when that happens and then we brought the dozer down the dozer is to make a official runway where we can take off with the jet now I'm going to be using my Airbus in the jet. I probably won't use the jet as much, but we still need a, a, uh, a taking off at least some sort of airport. All right. So we got the jet out of the front yard. Well, it's still in the front yard, but it's, it's outside of the gate. So a bit, a, a little change of plans. First off, let me show you. I got some sand delivered. We put down like a hundred tons of sand, made a little beach driveway. And then of course we got the Ferrari. She's backing in the boat. I beached one of my older speed boats. I need to get a yacht. That's one thing I need to do is I need to get a yacht. But I had the idea. Why waste the land on here and build an airport when we could just make connect all those islands and then build a super big airport. And then we can always like ferry over or use uh, use the yacht to go back and forth. So that's the plan. A lot of you guys told me to build an airport, to build a bunch of different things. And that's what we're going to do. We got we got to get the airport down because how am I supposed to get in and out of here, get to work? All right, so here's that. This is how you do it if you guys are wondering. By the way, this map, this mod, the, the, the map is called Luca's Island. I believe I linked it in the last episode. I'll try and link it again in here. I think it is PC only. Let me know, guys, if it's on console as well. But this is how you do it. You just, if everybody knows how to use the sculpting tool, what you can't do is you can't go out here and build ground. You have to, at least, I don't know what it is on controller if it, there is one, but on on a, on computer and mouse, laptop laptop and mouse, on the, on the mouse, you click both buttons, left and right click, and then just drag it out. So that's how you, I guess, you build out land on this map. So there we go. We're making it to the second island. Looks good. Looks good. I still got to get the dozer over to at least take out these trees because we don't want to be hitting any trees when we're landing the jet. I'm going to try and pretty up the sides a little bit. It looks a little, uh, make it look a little more natural. Kind of like how the islands are. Like they look pretty natural. This doesn't. So I'll try and smooth out the sides. Maybe put some cool rock textures on it or something. Like I said, we'll have a dock out here and then we can just have a, uh, a ferry or some, uh, like a private charter that'll, that'll just take us back and forth. And you're probably thinking, Spencer, well, you could just have one of the dinghy boats that you see on the side of yachts and you can easily run back and forth. Well, I know it's a short distance, probably like an eighth of a, oh, it's probably a quarter of a mile, but we got to get a yacht to do that. I think it's just, uh, it wouldn't be right. Here we go. Then let's smooth out the sides. I, I'm not sure. We'll, we'll probably do cement, some sort of cement gravel, maybe sand texture too, just to keep it authentic and beachy theme so when i have my my guests my friends come in it's kind of cool but also maybe a little sketchy if we get some rain and then there's sand and then the landing gear comes down and that wouldn't be too pretty so there we go i think that's enough runway once we clear out these trees i'll bring the dozer over and uh, and i think that it's a it's not perfect but it's pretty much all we need all right next plan is we got to get the dozer over but it's good this thing's sealed off it's waterproof so we should be good just keep the snorkels above water if we go below for a little bit it should be fine but this bay is pretty shallow all right hold your breath 
All right, we're good. Everything's working good. The snorkels, like I said, this bay is pretty shallow, but the snorkels were still, were still pumping out some exhaust, still taking in some. There we go. And we're on the bottom. This place is pretty clean. It got dredged out, but we're cruising line right along. So this dozer, I had them make it so that it's submerged or able to be pretty much a submarine if we ever go in deep water like this. All right, let me turn my lights on. There we go. So maybe we could see some fish underneath here. Now there's not too much fish, but this is pretty cool. We just got to knock out some trees and we'll have a runway. All right, there we go. We made it climb up this little embankment and we had a quite a bit of trees in here. Some are a little more tall. We, okay. We have the forestry package on this, but still, if it kind of fell on us, it could break some glass and mess us up. All right, here we go. Let's start up the old mulcher here and then lower down. I got my, uh, I got my gate open if that makes sense. So we'll fling a bunch of chips here. There we go. She's down. There we go. We're just knocking out trees here. Come on, mulch it, mulch it. There we go. Big trees down. Let's get clean up the stump here. There we go. Knock it over. Nice, nice. All right. Let's just see if we could take. There's a few trees that are right next to each other. Just take them all out. Push. There we go. Get the stumps here. It's a little weird, but pretty much this mulcher just disintegrates them like they're nothing. Holy biscuits. The horsepower on the. We got a thousand horsepower. There we go. We got some leftovers here. All right, the last two trees on the... Oh, gosh, I, mean, I wasn't paying attention. It's kind of hard to see when you're in the cab. The last two trees on this island, mow them down. There we go. Got the stump. There's a few pieces of wood there, but then we're going to jump down there. Get those. Totally flatten this place out. Grade it down. And we should be good to go. Still deciding on what texture to use. We'll probably use cement just for just for safety. I, like I said, maybe sand on the side. Keep it authentic. Keep it keep it kind of tropical feel. You know, you're landing your private jet. You know, you kind of want it. You don't want it perfect. Maybe still have, maybe have a few palm trees on one end. Ah, oh, maybe not. I don't want to hit any trees when I take off. But I'm going to head down here and clear these. Right, we got a little bit of trees left here. And we are scoot. Okay, I got hung up a little bit there. But we're scooting right along. We'll get these two guys right here. It's pretty fun. It's almost like it's a vacuum just sucking them in okay we got we're hung up here there we go sometimes some some are a little thicker than others and they, they bog down the mulcher just a little bit but here we go keep her going oh we got one moving there we go we got a big cat right there perfect four or more here and then we will have we'll have an airport it actually looks pretty good i think it's plenty long we didn't need to go any longer so that works out good i'm gonna drive it back right back into the mainland i guess is what you call it but if we do any more i'm gonna keep this in the yard for a little bit i just rented it i thought about buying it but you know i i thought i probably should save them some money I, I probably won't use it too much maybe i will maybe i might use it but we'll head back over hopefully it didn't get any deeper the tide didn't go any higher we're looking good. Let's head on over. All right, guys, we're in the jet getting turned around for a land in here. Going to go in between these two islands and come around. But there she is there. You can see you can see the landing strip that we built. I think it's pretty good. We could probably take out these trees before it, um, but but it's plenty long. We should be able to get down just fine. There we go. Yep, we're coming down just fine. Looking good. Straighten her out here. We got a little crosswind and there she is oh she got a little squirrely and we made her touch down all right cool she looks good let's pull her around here get her parked there we go by the way guys this is all chrome i've been trying to match some of the cars to chrome too it's not cheap it's not cheap so we'll jump on the boat and then we'll drive on over all right so here's the boat we got our beach up on here we kind of had to do some grading here it's not perfect but it's really nice soft sand and then we're able to just lift up the prop so Everything should be good. All right, here we go. I'm just going to get a little push off. Push, push, push. There we go. She's sliding in. There we go. We're good. There's the plane. Cool. I did pull the keys. I almost forgot. I locked it. Pulled the keys. So nobody should be able to steal it. Oh, that's funny. Nobody, nobody comes around here. I have security guards that are always watching all this stuff. But here we go. There we go. This is my favorite boat. I love it. I use it to do some deep sea fishing. A bunch of other stuff like that. We, we caught some huge blue tuna on it yesterday. And uh, that's kind of how we're going to do this. And then I do want to build a dock right now. We're just beaching everything. But we will for sure. I want a dock built like right around here. All right. We're pulling in. I got my Ferrari. All right. There we go. Wasn't too pretty. Came in a little crooked. But we got the props up just in time. And I better get the Ferrari out of here. We unloaded her. There we go. But we finally have boats on the island. I need a yacht. That is what I'm looking for. I've been looking on Facebook Marketplace. A few other places trying to find a good clean yacht might just got gonna have to get a brand new one but i've been breaking the bank pretty often here and speaking of breaking the bank we uh we a lot of people are like especially you need to get some razors you need to get 
some toys. Well, we got some toys, and, and not only toys, but I got a new truck. That's what I needed. I, I'm, I love cars, love Bugattis, love Ferraris, but I got to get me a big old lifted diesel truck, and that's what we got. Of course, it's the power truck. It's an F-350 lifted. It's six by six. Crazy amount of money, and this thing's worth like 200K. There we go. Let's pull in here, though, and I will show you all the toys that I brought with. The trailer alone is on air ride suspension. It's a tilt deck, hydraulic. It's crazy. The trailer alone, it's triple axle with dual, so we can haul some heavy stuff. We can't haul the desert, but it would be fun to try. But the trailer itself, I think it was like 30, 35,000 for this trailer, which is pretty crazy. All right, let's get pulled around here. I'm going to back her in. There we go. Looking good. I'm not too sure. I need to build some sort of like shed or garage, like a machine shed or like a toy shed, maybe, where I keep all the boats in the winter where I can keep all the toys. Maybe I, I work on a few things, but here it is. Here's the setup we got. I got myself a dirt bike. She's kind of dirty. It was used. Got a Can-Am four-seater. That's important. Can haul some friends around. I think we could probably fit six if we really wanted to. Got another. I got a six by six up there too, but it's only a, a bench seat and then a Razor, which is a, a two-seater, a Yamaha. All right, this thing, she needs power washed pretty bad. I'll get her up front here. There we go. Where should I put it? Yeah, like I said, I need a shed. We're kind of getting, we're overflowing. We're still going to be adding on new stuff, but I need a shed big enough to like hold a big yacht. Maybe I bring the, the almost like a hangar. I could have like a hangar spot for my aircrafts, for my jet. There we go. Let's get the Can-Am unloaded, but we just got too many toys. We need more space. I hate when that happens. You know, you spend all this money and you don't got any place to put all the toys. Here we go. And then the Ferrari, man, she tows like a beast. It's like you don't even feel it's back there. I mean, it's smooth as butter, and she's got a plenty of horsepower to get her going. There we go. Here's the Lizard 6x6. Six six. Put a really nice winch on her. It's got carbon fiber panels, so this thing was not cheap. And then last but not least, I got another Razor. It's a two-seater. It's a little zippier. It's meant for the beaches. It has, like, the sand dune tires on it. It's Yamaha YXZ, and it's a 1,000 cc. So we're going to be ripping these here. You know what? First things first. Let's go ahead. Let's hit the trailer jump. Bought a $30,000 trailer. And I bought it so I can jump my truck. There we go. We landed it. But let's jump on. This is kind of why I got this one. So I can hit the beaches. Do some rip and hit any like sand dunes. There we go. Let's try and get in the water. Oh, it pulled it. It's pulling us in. It's pulling us in. Okay, slow down. No wonder. It's uh, when I get in the water there. It kind of pulls me in. Here we go. Hit some water. All right, the beach is getting kind of skinny. Let's go on the road here. This thing rips, literally pulls the sand out of nowhere. Let's hit this jump. Oh, there we go. Watch out for the palm trees. Okay, yeah, there's the, the water seems, the tide's a little higher today. There we go. We're flying. This is probably a little too fast for my first time on one. There we go, in between the trees. All right, hopefully there's no uh, no people on the beach ten or everything. I guess I do own the whole entire island, but there's still... Still some locals. There we go. I'm going to turn around here. Good turnaround point. The road kind of runs out of steam here. But hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I will, I'm will. i going to run back to the house real quick. Grab a bite to eat. And then I'm going to work on building that beach a little bit. So we can we can actually like beach boats. And then get ready to build a really nice dock and shed. So hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of Billionaire Island. It's, uh, it's coming together. We officially built a runway, an airport, if you want to call it that. I got a new Airbus helicopter, new toys, new truck, that diesel truck. That's pretty cool. Make sure to smash the like button if you want to see more. Go in the comment section. Tell me what I need to do next to make this place really cool. I kind of thought about maybe we could do some farming on it. Actually, like, farm the fields with some crazy farm equipment that's, like, very expensive and just crazy farm equipment. So smash the like button, and I'll see you all in the comment section.